G'day, g'day team, how are we going? Welcome back to my series on my Wrath of the Lich King uh, classic preparation. So today I'm going to take you through um, pretty much what I'm doing most days uh, leading up to the actual pre-patch and release of Wrath. Cool, we'll crack right into it. So pretty much uh, the biggest, the biggest moneymaker for me you know, I'm not someone who who really enjoys, you know, spending hours and hours farming or anything like that. So the biggest no-hassle way that I'm getting it done is I am doing alchemy. So I actually have this on three of my uh, characters. Um, they're all Transmute Master. Mastery. So make sure you have a look in and get... Transmute Mastery if you want to do the same sort of thing. And every day, I'm making these uh, Earthstone Diamonds. The Transmute Earthstone Diamonds. Or Skyfire Diamond, depending on the day. So, using my uh, my TSM add-on, I can go through. <clears throat> and as long as it's updated, I can see roughly the, the profit for... Each item, uh, if I'm to sell them on the auction house. So this profit number here is pretty much the cost of all these currently on the auction house uh, against what it's currently listed for on the auction house. So in theory, if I went and brought all of these ingredients right now and sold it on the auction house at its current price, I'd make 26 gold. So as I said, I've got three three transmute mastery alchemists. Um, Depending on the day, I might get three uh, diamonds, and given that the the transmute mastery, I could also get you know more than that. I think it's between one and four, or one and five, or, or some some number like that. I've only really seen uh, two at the most, so two diamonds for one uh, one use of the of the transmute, which which you know pretty much turns your 26 gold profit into more or less 100 gold for each of those free uh, transmutes so you know essentially if you're if each of your three characters they transmute procs and they're getting you know two diamonds each you pretty much just made 300 gold that day and you know, you could get lucky, it could proc more, or less. But it's sort of what I do as a no-fuss way to, you know, have a, a sort of guaranteed income. Um, about 50, 60 gold a day, and that's, you know, that's not including getting my dailies done. Um, doing dungeons, doing my daily heroic, and all those bits and bobs. That's just a nice easy way to, you know, if I do it five days a week. Uh three characters, six fives. There's about three hundred gold a week just from pretty much clicking craft. Especially if you buy all these in bulk. The other thing too to uh to watch out for is when these things are on special. So your golden drainite. Uh let's see. So the max price I've purchased I purchased a whole bunch of it um on my other character a wee while ago at two hold eleven. Uh, and I sold a bunch of that for about four gold sixty six. But it looks like the current price is around four gold. So even if I was to unload it all, uh, I'd make a about a gold per per uh, gem or per stone, I guess they're called. Yeah, but uh, per un uncut gem. So that's just another way to to bring in a bit of money. The Primal Earths, I've noticed they've actually gone up uh, quite a bit. If you look at my TSM add-on here, uh, it's, it actually says I brought one for 122 gold. That was one of those cheeky uh, those cheeky people who list things for, you know, two or three thousand percent higher. And, and some poor unlucky soul like myself comes along and accidentally hits by now and spends 144 gold on one Primal Earth. So, you know, you always have that sort of situation, but 
that's why I tend to not keep a lot of gold on my characters. So I don't accidentally buy nonsense like that. Kilts cool. so are the other thing I'm going through as well. Uh, you know, just when I'm bored, when I want to fly around, is doing my herbalism. So on this druid, I've had herbalism since pretty much the start. Uh, he was actually herbalist alchemist in, in classic. Uh, vanilla classic, that is. So when I get bored, you know, I might have uh, a Netflix show on, or, or Obi-Wan, or Star Wars, or something on my second screen. And while I'm doing it, I can just fly around with my tracking herbs on, and just sort of picking up the herbs as I see them. It's a super non non stressful way to uh, to earn some pretty decent gold. And to get the most of it, you want to install an add-on uh, gatherer or gathermate, and that actually puts these community sourced little icons uh, on your on your map, so you can sort of just Follow the path, and watching your mini-map. I'm going to get any. Maybe not. Just flying around, hitting all these spots, and picking up any of the herbs that have spawned. Apparently there is uh, there is actually an add-on you can, you can get where, it, while you're flying around, it will alert you whenever it finds one on the map. But uh, normally I've found, you know, no I, mean, I think this is actually the longest period of time that I've done this and I haven't found a, a herb. There we go. Dreaming glory there. Now the other tip I want to just chuck in here is that Druid Flight Form, you don't actually dismount as such, or you don't, you know, unshape shift when you're picking a herb. And to my understanding, that's exactly how it's going to be in... Uh, Wrath of the Lich King as well. So my advice there would be, if you are going to be doing herbing in Wrath of the Lich King, then to do it on a druid that has your flight form, your epic flight form. Here's another one. Where are we? Uh, yeah. Pick that up and on our merry way. The reason I'm sort of doing this um, at the moment is because Wrath is going to be releasing the new, I say new, the new 15 year ago talent, uh, yeah, what do you call it, profession, being Inscription. So Inscription basically works in the same way that you have, uh, what do you call it, prospecting for jewel crafting. So you have a stack of herbs, so you say you have five Dreaming Glory, you mill them and it turns them into an ink. The ink is then used to, you know, write on this parchment stuff and that turns into glyphs, which can adjust your abilities and your talents, you know, and, and sort of minorly uh, change some, some pretty good, but minorly or majorly change the way that your abilities actually uh, work. As well as produce these uh, Dark Moon cards that are also released with the expansion. I can see a massive, massive influx of, as soon as the, the uh, pre-patch is released, I can see a massive influx of people getting their, uh, getting their inscription up in time for when Wrath is actually released. So, my advice would be, if you see herbs on the auction house, and I've been doing this, so if I see a stack of foul weed, uh, you know, going for three or four gold, I'm going to pick it up because I envision that with the release of the pre-patch, the wrath pre-patch, all the herbs, including including the you know the, the overly abundant uh, foul weed, is probably going to go up in price, and uh, you might be able to to make a fair bit of profit from that. The other sort of thing that I'm, I'm focusing on as well. So I actually dropped herbalism uh, on this character. Um, and I think I had, I think I had enchanting. Yeah, I had enchanting because this guy was pretty much. So he's he's been a beer tank for pretty much the entire uh, the entire burning crusade. So he was doing a lot of heroics, 
a lot of reading and getting a lot of, uh, you know, bind on, on pick up epics and blues, especially from those heroics. So I actually found before the, the change where Void Crystal split into uh, prismatic shards, or large prismatic shards, I think they're called. I don't even know my bag. I found that the biggest, you know, I could sell them for, you know, anywhere between 18 to 25 gold each. So I found that, you know, maybe if I ran three, four heroics in a day, uh, that was an easy, easy 100 gold. But now that that value's sort of gone down, I'm, I'm spending this time now and getting my herbalism back up so I can hit the ground running in Wrath of the Lich King. And it pairs quite nicely with my, uh, with my alchemy, which I can easily foresee being very profitable. This should be a where are we? This one. This should be a Wrath of the Lich King equivalent to these two diamonds. So an Earth something diamond and a Sky something diamond, which I can once again envision to be super lucrative um, if you can get your alchemy up into the 400s pretty quickly. So whether that means that... What have we got here? So whether that means you start setting aside... Oops, now. So that you'd be able to make these super rejuvenation potions, for example, or these foul mana potions, and get that, that alchemy up to 400, 425, 450 even, potentially. Probably not. But, you know, as soon as possible. Because as soon as that, that boat opens to the new continent, uh, you can be sort of guaranteed sure that everyone and their dog and their cat are going to be getting every single herb before you. Even though everyone's going to be ground-based, uh, it's still going to be at least, you know, in the first maybe week or so, there is going to be a lot of competition for the herbs. So I'd highly recommend, if you can, starting now and, and stocking up as much as you can on the herbs uh, that are actually going to be useful to getting your getting your uh, leveling your alchemy leveling up Just give these guys the bash here the other thing I'm going to suggest too is on this character I've got the plus five herbalism enchant and the plus five herbalism gloves which are a level 22 item. So that's going to let me pick herbs that are, you know, 10, 10 skill points ahead of what I could normally pick. Which could be quite advantageous as you head into Northrend. And you start getting those items that you cannot get anymore. Or, or yet, rather. So just a few tips there. Nothing, uh, nothing revolutionary. Just once again... Sort of just running through what I'm doing uh, on the lead up to the pre-patch. And I'll keep you guys updated as well. A few things I've, I've changed around. I've uh, edited my guild bank uh, quite a bit. Tidied it up from that mess that you saw in the last video. So it does look a bit more uh, <coughs> organized. But other than that, just keeping on, keeping on, keeping busy. And uh, yeah, any questions, chuck them down below, and I'll try and, uh, I'll try and let you know how we're going. Cool as team, as always, have an awesome day. Cheers.